Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop with Jack. I've got another quick look at some features coming to Loopy 2.0. This time we're diving into some more advanced features such as MIDI clips, MIDI chords, and finally, a feature I know a lot of people have been asking for, MIDI automation. Let's get into it. Now to start with, let's take a look at the MIDI chords or MIDI one shots. Down the bottom of my screen here, you can see I've got seven blue colored MIDI chords that I've set up. So these are set up with Roman numerals to indicate which chord within the key you have. So to start with, let's just reset it to C major. I've got that mapped here, so when I play my keyboard, it will trigger the different MIDI chords. So in the case of C major, for example, we've got C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and B diminished. Now what's really cool is you can record these straight into a clip. Let me give you a quick example. If I press play, arm this orange clip. You can see it's going to record them to that orange clip there and play it back to you. Pretty sweet. Now great, you've got C major set up, but what if I'm playing different songs in a gig and I want to quickly and easily be able to transpose those? Well, just above here, we've got a major key selector and I've set this up in kind of a circle of fifths manner. So you can see it's quite small, but we've got C here, then it's going to be G major, D major, E major, etc. So if say we want to switch to E major uh, and then play, I don't know, a one, four, five. those chords were then easily and quickly transposed to that key. Now, of course, you can set this up in a really fancy way. You could have all different types of chord progressions, extensions of those chords, etc. But pretty neat feature and something that I'm really excited to start using. So to give you a real world example of how this might be useful, let's say you're doing a gig and you need to play the song Teenage Dirtbag. Now that song is in the key of E, so we need to go across to E on our major key selector. The chord progression we need is a 1-5-1-4. So let's record that in. Let's then say the next song in your set list is going to be Shotgun by George Ezra. Well, we're going to need the key then of F major. So again, using the major key selector, we can just move it across nice and easy. And all of these chords have transposed immediately to that key. Uh, I believe we need one, four, six, five. One, four, six, five. Let's record that in and see how we get on. Now also on screen you can see I've set up this reverb slash high pass filter XY pad. I've got this set up to control a high pass filter, a wet dry knob inside the reverb and a little bit of distortion depending on where it's located within the XY pad. Let me demonstrate if I press play. Cool. So 
This isn't really anything new. You could do this in the old version of Loopy Pro, but this is where it gets really fun. Now, you're going to need to use your imagination here as to what you can do with this. I'm just showing you how it works. But on the right hand side here, I have got some magenta clips and I've set them up as automation clips. So as I am playing with the XY pad, I can record that CC data to those clips and then it will play it back, it will loop it back. And the cool thing about this is you could layer up lots of different loops with different automations and then you could trigger them for different sections in the song or maybe it could even go with your scenes, your verse, your chorus, however you use Loopy Pro and however you have got it set up. So if I press play on our clip and then I arm the first automation clip, we're gonna record some CC data there. See, it starts to loop that back, which is pretty awesome. Now let's say you wanted to record in some different automation for say a chorus. I can do that now on the next clip down. So press play, let's get a bit more wild here. the first automation and when it's ready it'll go back to the first one that we recorded in the second one cool so not the most musical example of how you might use it but you can see it could be really useful in many different ways I'm thinking something along the lines of using CC information and automation to add more reverb on many different clips or buses and things when it goes from a verse to a chorus where you want that lift or something along those lines but I'm sure everybody out there will come up with some amazing uses for this but just such a really cool feature. I think the MIDI options inside of Loopy 2.0 are really going to expand this app and create so many more possibilities for musicians out there to get creative when they're looping live. Now, if you're looking for more Loopy Pro content, then check a link down in the description below, which will send you over to my members site. You can sign up for free. You get access to many templates that I've built, and I'm going to be adding so much more cool stuff over there. It'd be great to have you over there. But anyway, that's it for the day. Another quick look at some amazing features coming to Loopy 2.0. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.